right, so here's the book review of Big Panda and the Tiny Dragon. Um, now, this was written and illustrated by James Norbury and published in 2021 by Michael Joseph. Um, as you can see, it is a chapter book here, um, but it is still quite a short picture book too. So, yeah. So although it is a picture storybook, it has quite minimal written content. Um, there's a lot of messages behind the storyline, which requires a lot of discussion and critical thinking skills. So due to this, I believe that the learning intentions behind the book will be better suited to students level five and six. In regard to the language, the book gives plenty of opportunity for students to investigate the organisation of the book itself. Um, so it's structured in chapters, as you can see at the start, and categorised by the seasons. So it promotes critical thinking skills um, to understanding the developing ideas. So the vocabulary used throughout the book is quite mature. Um, it uses terms such as incredible, destination, despite and obstacles. So this allows students to understand how ideas are conveyed through vocabulary. Um, lastly, examining the literature should help with the teaching of interpretation of imagery, different viewpoints, cultural contexts and narratives. So there's opportunity to link with the science curriculum as they are talking about seasons throughout the book, as well as creative and critical thinking. As you can see, which is more important, ask Big Panda, the journey or the destination, the company, said Tiny Dragon. Something like that um, can be huge for obviously creative and critical thinking skills. Um, so there's heaps of opportunity to be talking about um, skills in regard to that curriculum. Okay, so the only possible challenges that might come with teaching about this text is that because it's so simple and long, um, I do fear that the older age students will find little interest in it or there might be um, a lengthy sort of lesson that will come with it because there is so many constant messages that need to be inferred, discussed and evaluated.